Hello there, this is Chris and I'm going to show you today how to build a space shuttle. So I'm using uh, the latest patch, the um, economic boom, which has added all these new cockpits to the game, uh, as well as various other things, but mostly it's uh, career related. These are really the only new parts. So we want to take advantage of these uh, for two reasons. First of all, because they look really cool. But second of all, because with these new science pieces, you can actually build a proper space shuttle with a internal cargo bay and everything. So uh, I will give cargo, put cargo in there in a moment, but for now we're going to build the shuttle itself. So, the shuttle is going to be built exactly as the real one is. It is going to have uh, a mostly empty actual ship. The, uh, we, only, we do need some fuel though, because we're going to have engines on board. So we're going to use the small, the short fuselage. Uh, so we got a bit of monopropellant in there, and this is going to be mostly liquid fuel and oxidizer. 150, no, sorry, 50. I'm not sure that's going to be enough. We might need to put some more in. Um, and then we're going to need, we're going to need lots and lots of these, but only one of these is going to go in here. And then we're going to need a, a maneuvering engine in space. Now the shuttle has two small ones mounted to the outside. This is going to be different. We're only going to have one in the center. Uh, I'll come back to that in a moment, you'll see why. So next we're going to need wings. Wings are simple. There's some new ones, which are these. So we're going to have, so we're going to have two of those. We'll put them on like so. We're going to use the leave the fuel like that. So now, this is the shuttle built. So now what we want to do is roll the thing over, like so. So we're going to uh, bring the wheels in. And then let's get rid of this for now. We'll, we need these. This is going to be important in a moment. So on the bottom, in structural, we're going to fit... We need one. Now, you're going to want it as far forward as you can but so it doesn't intercept these wheels because otherwise you might have clipping problems when you try to detach. I'm going to use the big, big old fuel tank. Get it centered like, oh, no. <laughs> like centered like so. Uh, now this is important now. This, you're going to need a whole bunch of these. Oh God. Let's uh, cancel that. Oops. Flicking parts all over the place here. Is that. Oh god, what am I doing? Okay, so yeah, you're going to need these because you're going to need tons and tons of torque to keep this ship running in the direction you want. I would suggest three. You may need more. This is also going to move the centre of mass forward which is more important what you need because you need the center of mass as far forward and as far down as possible if you're looking at it like this. Uh, the next thing is the obvious one because this is the whole point of this external fuel tank. You're gonna need a fuel line running from the fuel tank to your ship. Now, here's where the interesting bit gets is, begins. The engines. Oh, normally when you put engines on a ship, you just want them at the bottom and you want them pointing straight up. On this, that's not going to be how it works. We're going to use two of these. So for now, we're just going to put it there. And we're going to put an engine on it. I would suggest using this one because it has a gimbal on it. It's only 1%. Uh, sorry, 1 degree. It's not great. Um, but it's the, probably it's the best one. You could use this one. It gives you more power. But it has no gimbal whatsoever. Any gimbal is better than none. So I'm going to put that on there like that. And I'm going to grab this. I'm going to double it up and then you're going to want to try and put it on the center line and you'll see it there it goes back and then you're going to have to just trial and error here so you're going to go one two three three times you're going to look at it now the engines are in a funny place but that's how they are on the real shuttle if you go and have a look i'm going to put this on and if you look it's not quite right but it's very close but that's okay because what's going to happen is 
we're going to use boosters to get us up quite high. And when by the time the boosters run out, our fuel's going to look about like this. And you see it come down then. And now when we look, much closer. And as this fuel goes down, you'll see this is moving down. It's moving down. It's moving down. So this is going to become more and more stable as the fuel is used up. Um, but to get initially into space, we're going to use boosters. We want two of them. Oops. And we're going to use the bigger ones. And because the ship's upside down and backwards, we're going to rotate them over. We want them as forward-ish. Now if you have a look, we've got a new line because these are now all combining. So at launch, this is going to be perfectly stable. Everything lines up perfectly, which is what you want. So then as these get detached, this will be down. Not much, but it'll be down. These will be more in line then, but you're going to want to actually power down a little bit at that point. So now we're just going to tighten the thing up a bit. We're going to, we're going to need some struts. You don't need to strut these on. It, you can do if you want, but I would suggest that uh, you need the absolute minimum because these don't provide anywhere near. If you watch the shuttle launch in real life, when these things detach, these kind of fly off to the side and cartwheel. That doesn't happen with these things. Uh, so we're going to roll over again. So we need to use these separatrons to do this. So what we want to do is we need to make them move away from these wings because they're going to clip these wings and break. So we want them to be pointing sideways and up like so. So they're going to push them out and away. So then we're going to get everything. While we're here, we're going to put something on the inside. So I would suggest the first thing you put on the inside, unless you want to build that, use the the smaller bay. Um, in fact, I'm not going to record this. I'll, I'll build it all and I'll show you once I'm done. Okay, so I fitted a couple of things inside. Let's just get rid of these. Uh, so at the front, we've got kind of a service module. We've got um, power generation. We've got two extra RTS tanks, a light to the inside, and a docking bay. This is all attached, cannot be removed. And at the back, from here to the back, we've got a little satellite I've built. It's just got one of every science instrument. It's got the science junior bay, and then it's got all just various things on it. Uh, that will be launched into space. Uh, so we're going to close this up. So the extra weight that's given us should actually make it balance a little bit better. I've also fitted the little RTS thrusters on it. Um, so what we're going to look at now, so if you look now, so the pink should line up perfectly with that. So this is this is important for launch. It's not quite perfect, but it's close enough. And then you have this, we remove that. We, uh, as I said, it's still not quite perfect, but as we remove the fuel, you can see it gets more and more in balance. So we'll put these back on. Uh, oh no, <laughs> spot my cup. Oh. So we need to. Take them back round. Nope, not quite. Is that better? It's better. Okay, and then we're going to stand it up. We're going to rotate that. Nope. <laughs> Gonna rotate it that way so that it's pointing in the right direction. And then we're just gonna need a couple of clamps to hold it in place. Let's make sure everything's lined up. Um, so there are the decouplers, and then these are the main boosters, and then this whole lot comes down to the bottom. So we're going to save it. Another thing we're going to do is action group, custom one, toggle these engines and you'll see why once we're in space. Save and launch. So now this is, this is kind of a moment of truth here. It's not always going to work. It's going to be quite difficult to get this going, right? So engines on, we're going to go, we're going to try it full power and see what happens and launch. Oh, pretty balanced. That's not bad. Now what's going to happen is, if the ship looks like it's trying to tilt forwards, that's because these engines are too powerful, so you want to lower your thrust slightly. If it's tilting back, it means these are not powerful enough, you need to increase the thrust. 
but you don't want to increase it, decrease it too much. You want to be going as fast forward as you possibly can. Uh, you're also going to want to tilt back because your ship is not travelling in the direction that this is pointing. You're actually travelling slightly down because of the way the engines are positioned. So keep an eye on the yellow circle, not where your nose is. So here's the moment of truth. How balanced is it going to be when you release these bu boosters? Hey, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Will increasing the thrust balance me? It's hard to know. I don't think it is. I think it's making it worse. Oh dear. Let's try decreasing it. <laughs> yeah, so decreasing it is fixing it. You can adjust it by moving, just slight adjustments will make the difference, moving this forward, maybe putting an extra one or two or removing one or two. You can also try putting them at the bottom as well, rather than the top. But uh, we're looking we're looking pretty good. So just keep rolling over. Because uh, we're so, well I say low, we're at 20,000 meters. The wings are actually going to help all the way up till about 30,000 where the air will be too thin for the wings really to make any difference. So so as, as you get near 40, you actually probably won't get higher than 40, closer to 45 really. Uh, you can try making a roll, roll your ship over. So uh, I'm going to do that now. So here we go, that went well. It's actually going to help with stability this. So now we're just gonna, this is just gonna keep growing. Now the important part here is you do not want to get into this fuel. So you're gonna keep watching that. So we're at 30, so it's not going down too quick, slow. Uh, just keep watching this. You're gonna get, let's go to 100, shall we say. Keep an eye, just keep switching between fuel. So this is, I think we're going to do it. 80, 90, 104 is close enough. So this is, this is more or less empty. We jettison the fuel tank. And now you want to press one, or if you've not set it up, just manually de disable these two outer engines. They are now done. You have no need of them anymore. So now we're just going to ride the ballistic arc up to an orbital um, height. Are we close enough? Not quite. So now we're in space with our shuttle. Just going to ride it round. And then we're going to bring our nose down. And we're going to use that small engine, which we lined up perfectly, to put us in orbit. 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, and 100. We are in orbit with a shuttle. Uh, we're going to... Let's launch this satellite and turn the lights on. So, we are going to decouple that. And then, uh, let's, is it this one? Nope, hang on. <laughs> is it L, no, J? I, I can't remember what the controls are. There it is, I. <laughs> Move away. 
switch to our satellite. Extend the panels. Send the communications array. Which I've put on backwards, but you get the picture. Never mind. <laughs> I'm in sandbox anyway, so it's not going to make any difference. So there we go. We've launched a satellite into space. And uh, no more, I'm going to go back to the shuttle. If we wanted to, we've got enough fuel to change our orbit. We've got RCS. We can uh, try and dock using that. We can transfer crew. And if you wanted to, you could replace this whole thing with two of those crew modules. I think they've got four each. That would give you a total crew capacity of 10 Kerbals, which is pretty good. Or if you're feeling lazy or even more ambitious, you could try putting a longer one on, fitting the custom docking one. Uh, as long as the weight remains more or less the same, you can do whatever you want, really. So uh, I'm going to show you landing now. Let's see if I can raise the space. Out. Yeah, I think I'm going to overshoot. Not by too much. Should have plenty of time to turn myself around, though. Might even be able to land on this one if it's not that bad. Here we go. So, let's uh, bring the time back down. So, we're going to try and uh, turn ourselves around. Uh, proving difficult. There's not much uh, airflow at this height, but we're doing it. We're getting ourselves around. Come on, spaceship. Let's try air. Uh, ah, yes, it's not making the slightest bit of difference. Here we go. We're getting low and out. We don't want to lose too much speed. Uh, where's that? Mm, it's going to be too much of a trouble to land on that one. We've still got this engine as well, which we can use if we have to. In fact, I'll, I've got plenty of fuel. I don't mind using that. If I'd uh, timed it better, I could have just come in for a straight glide, but it's this turning is, uh, is causing me issues. <laughs> Just uh, keep bringing it down. Turn the speed up. Here we go. Just, uh, I think we've got this. Yeah, no problem. As long as we stop before we hit the other end of the runway. Oh, did you hear them? <laughs> and we're down. So, uh, break. And uh, there it is. That is how you build a working space shuttle. Obviously, these new parts are. Uh, you know, you could build really nice space planes, single stage to orbit ones, but uh, that is not this. The whole point of this was to build it exactly like the actual shuttle. And um, if you wanted to, you could increase the size of the uh, the fuel tank, probably double, maybe even double up this. Uh, you just have to keep experimenting. It's the important thing is these these um, angled engines. You have to you have to kind of learn the correct way of putting them on. Um, if you get it perfect, you can even use the non-vectoring ones. You get a bit of extra boost and a little. They're actually a little bit um, lighter as well. So uh, yeah, this uh, this is how you build a shuttle in Kerbal Space Program.